Hey there, friends. Good evening to you. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz, joined by meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. At the moment, we have two tornado warnings that we have to tell you about, so we are breaking into programming uh, until the threat has ended. So the first tornado warning that we do have at the moment, this is for EBR Parish until 915, and this is for this one storm that is near Baker and near Zachary. This includes Zachary, Milldale, all the way into Br uh, Blair Town, Baywood, as well as just Clinton on the fringe of that. So that also includes East Feliciana Parish and then far northwestern Livingston Parish. Again, this is until 915. And then the other warning that we have is for Iberville Parish. This also includes Ascension, far southeastern EBR Parish, and then southern Livingston Parish. This is also until 915 this evening. So we're going to break this down for you because we have two separate areas of concern that we're watching right now. And so we're going to be combing through some of this. Brandon, he's currently behind the scenes as well. Brandon, I know you've been on this while we've been uh, going through all the information. Are you seeing anything from the National Weather Service as of right now? Hey, Ashley. Yeah, so they're saying in uh, both these uh, cells of rotation that we are uh, currently watching for, well, well, the service has uh, issued those tornado warnings for radar indicated rotation within the cell. So if you want to take up links uh, one, I'll show you on the radar right now what we're looking at. So we're looking at the cell just south of Plaquemine, and we're seeing it's near White Castle as well. This is in Iberville uh, Parish. It's going to be moving toward the north into the northeast at around 55 miles per hour. So this is a rather fast moving cell. So let me see if I can time it out for you looking at um, how, how fast it's going. So around 55 miles per hour and we're looking toward the northeast. So places uh, around Shenandoah around 855, French Settlement around 9 o'clock. And again this is, is for some and radar indicated rotation with this cell. So I'll, me, I'll pull up the wind tracker, the velocity, so I'll show you where that rotation is at for this cell. And I'll go ahead and circle it for you as well. So we're looking at rotation right around in here, I believe. We're, we're seeing some rotation uh, near Plaquemine and again moving to the northeast. And again, this is radar indicated rotation with this particular cell. So let me zoom out and show you the other one that we are tracking. This is near Baker and Zachary and northern East Baton Rouge Parish. Again, this cell is also moving to the northeast a little bit faster at around 65 miles per hour. So let me put a tracker on this one, roughly 65 miles per hour. So we're looking around Greensburg, 906, Kentwood, 917, if this holds together and moves that way. So if you are under these warnings right now in East Baton Rouge Parish, uh, Southern and Southeastern uh, East Feliciana Parish, and as well as parts of Livingston and uh, St. Helena Parish, you want to make sure you are in your safe place as we do have these tornado warnings in place. So again, the uh, most interior room in your house away from any windows is where you want to be at uh, with this warning. So we will make sure you do take cover now because we do have this tornado warning issued as well as the other one that is still in effect near Plaquemine and again moving to the northwest. Going to be moving toward the interstates as well from I-10 near Shenandoah between Gonzales. So if you are in uh, the path of this warning, make sure you take cover for sure. So Ashley, you seeing anything on your end in terms of rotation or other parts of the squall line? Well, I will mention I've been observing, analyzing some of the radar while you were on. Um, I am watching this one other area of rotation within that tornado warning and I will show you right here so basically between Pride and Blairstown I know it's a little hard to see we are pretty far from the radar site uh, this is roughly about 7,000 feet up in the atmosphere and up in the air but this is also an area to watch so there are a couple of little uh, areas of rotation within this one tornado worn storm uh, storm also near Bridalwood and then near Deer 
Hartford, and this is, again, northeast of Southern. This does not include Southern University's campus, but we also have that severe thunderstorm warning, and so we've been watching these areas of rotation embedded within this squall line capable of producing some damaging straight-line winds, and so that you see the yellow. That is that severe thunderstorm warning, and this one particular line of the storm could also spawn a couple of tornadoes. So that is why we have severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warning, and then that separate uh, tornado warning, which includes the White Castle area. This includes Gonzales, Port Vincent, French Settlement, even Livingston. So the area of concern at the moment, and I can switch some of these on and off, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Again, it's pretty hard to see given the fact that this is roughly about 6,000 feet up, but just near White Castle and then near Cannonburg, Oakley, you see that there, Bruins, and then Bayou Paul. Now, this is moving to the northeast roughly about what was it, 50 to 60 miles per hour, Brandon? The, which one is this? The, the one for Iberville? Ascension. Yeah, that one's Iberville. moving northeast at around 55 miles an hour. Right, so it's going to, you see right here, the reds, the greens, it's going to move to the northeast, and that's going to approach I-10 rather quickly. That one particular warning is in place until 9:15, so we still have about 30 minutes to go. And the thing with this is, again, this is moving rather quickly, so you need to make sure you are in that safe place now, not in five minutes from now, if you are getting that alert on your phone, make sure you're already getting into that uh, safe place. Because here's I-10, here's Gonzales, Duplessis, Galvez, Port Vincent, Bullion, uh, Elliott Acres. These areas, you're next with this line. It's not a confirmed tornado. Thankfully, as of right now, there are some storm spotters out there and such. Don't go looking for this because any, any and if tornadoes do develop, likely going to be rain wrapped, it's dark, it's dangerous, just don't even worry about going out and looking for that. So White Castle all the way to Bruins, Oakley, Bayou Paul, again, Gonzales, Duplessis, all the way up to about Verdun and French Settlement, Port Vincent, all the way up to I-12, you need to be in that safe place. This is Southern Shenandoah as well. And then that separate tornado warning that we're watching, um, more than like, again, EBR Parish. Brandon, I'm still seeing a couple of areas within this line where we have kinks in the squall line, essentially. And this is what we've been watching. So uh, essentially, you see now that it's a lot of red, it's a lot of yellow, and then some pinks as well. It's more of a linear system, so it's just with embedded within this line where we have uh, the potential for a tornado to spawn with little to no warning. So again, this is radar indicated. We're not seeing any official reports just yet, but I am going to zoom in this one area, and I know Brandon's watching this carefully as well. Um, this one particular little area of rotation that is about to cross the a -meet. This is right here near El Ranchito and then Bridalwood or Brittlewood. Um, this is the area. This is just to the uh, west-northwest of Watson. So again, this is the different storm. Remember, we have two separate tornado warnings. Here's the Amy and then all the way down to, and I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, again, this is just to the west of Watson and just near Central as well. Again, Bridalwood, I'll even zoom out or zoom in a little just to start naming some of the areas. So here is, here is uh, Greenwell Springs Road. You see right here. Here's Hooper Road. These are the areas very, uh, very popular for traveling. We, we know that. Uh, Denham Road, Twin Oaks, Hidden Creek. Uh, Brandon, on your end, are you seeing anything? You see this little area right there uh, yeah. of concern at the moment. Yeah. I I'm looking at the reflectivity right here mm -hmm. on Lynx 1, and I'm seeing this line stretching down all the way basically from the southwestern portion of uh, East Feliciana, all the way, uh, southeastern portion of East Feliciana, all the way down uh, toward Donaldsonville. And let me zoom in. You kind of see what we have, kind of what we call kinks in this line. I'll draw it out for you. So here's one like talking like this, and another one like this. And when we look at that, 
we look for the possibility of rotation. So let me look on the velocity, and I want to point you back down to the one that was issued just south of Baton Rouge and point out this velocity couplet that we're seeing. I'll circle it for you. Right on the edge of this tornado warning line, actually, just east of Plaquemine, uh, south of Baton Rouge and LSU. And if we look past a, a back in a couple of scans, we kind of see the red color has gotten a little bit more brighter. So the signature has gotten a little bit stronger in the past couple of scans. So here it was around, uh, let's see, this is point at 8.30, so about 16 minutes ago. And here's where that, cu that couplet was right here. And as we go forward in time, we see it kind of begin to shift to the little bit of a, have a leftward motion with it as it follows and has gotten a little bit stronger in its signature. So we're looking at this, and this is, again, heading toward a near the Shenandoah area, near the I-10 and 12 split. I've seen the, the Weather Service has continued some of the tornado warnings, so I'm going to wait for our system to populate that in and get the updated warning on the screen for you as well. So we are watching that one. This is zooming in this couplet right here, the little bit of a stronger one, seeing it near Gardier, uh, heading toward the I-10 and 12 split roughly. So we're going to watch this one carefully as it begins to move. And even down to the south of that couplet, we're seeing another area of some heightened rotation, uh, now kind of entering into this uh, tornado the tornado warning that has issued near White Castle. So we're seeing another couplet of some rotational winds. So again, the reds are winds away from the radar site and the green are winds toward the radar site. So we're seeing that kind of clockwise motion in the atmosphere with this radar scan. And again, these scans at this range from the radar are about five to six and a half thousand feet up. So when we look at these, we have to make sure you know that they're reaching the surface for these warnings to be issued. And the warnings have been issued. Not anything confirmed quite yet. Still radar indicated rotation. But we're still watching this one. It's still seeing as you can kind of zoom in a little bit more almost uh, those heightened red and almost pink, pink colors with this couplet indicating that this has gotten a little bit stronger signature on the velocity. So let me zoom out and, and show you the other warning that we are watching, just to touch base on that one and see what that one is, is doing. So that one's near and now near the northeastern side of EBR Parish and East Feliciana Parish. So let's see where that rotational couplet is on this one that we're watching. So this one kind of has two areas of concern. We're seeing this area where those reds touch those greens as well as this weak area also where we're seeing some rotation. And that's going to happen with this line as it moves through. You're going to see multiple areas within the full line of some rotation where these winds kind of wrap around each other and where tornadoes can briefly spin up. And with this line, the possibility of tornadoes is going to be a quick uh, tornado being issued or tornado possibly being uh, dropped down to the ground and it'll be a quick spin up with these systems as they move through. So looking this is even a better signature to show you how it kind of has that comma shape within that squall line and where we see that uh, kind of the top of that comma shape is where we're going to be seeing those winds begin to turn and rotate. And so here is, again, that cu velocity couplet. This is the one near LSU, just uh, southeast of LSU, uh, near Shenandoah, uh, south of the I-10 and 12 split. And that one is still roughly around the edge of that uh, tornado warning. And so also what to watch out for is damaging straight line winds with this squall line as it moves through. That can also cause quite uh, some damage as well. We already saw a report earlier in Point Capi Parish of a mobile home overturned by some damaging straight line winds. So those can often be equal, uh, 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 equal strength of a weak tornado. Also, both have to be uh, watched out for. So I'll have to send it over to you, Ashley. Are you seeing anything else on your end? Um, anything, any updates coming in uh, from social media? Any other reports on your end? Not as of right now, Brandon, but I have been looking at the radar um, while you were talking, just kind of looking at things to be able to zoom out a little bit. And I'm looking at a couple of areas right now. We are in South Baton Rouge, and I do, if we pop up um, links two, I can actually show you, um, oh, we have links two up. Uh, but we have a couple of spots. I know you were talking about how on the 
on the far northern portion of the warning, we've had a couple of uh, velocity cup, uh, couplets, rotation couplets. This is right here by our station as well. I'm starting to hear the winds picking up, but this that would be more on the northern side of this warning. But this does include the southern portion of Shenandoah, Hushu 2 Road, as well as Highland Community. Again, this is just south of Jones Creek. But I still want to take into account that here's that that area of at least some rotation within this, and that was just the latest um, update. So let's, let me redraw that for you. This is just near the Shenandoah and Antioch Villa area. Again, this is where we're watching right now. Again, this is just to the northwest of Hushu 2 Road. Again, this is on the, the uh, outskirts of this tornado warning. Here's Shenandoah, here's Antioch Villa, and then also near Airlock. I'm going to clear this out just so you guys can get a better image of it. That's that one tornado warning that is in place for EBR Parish until 915. So you do need to make sure you, um, you get into that safe place if you're not already. This also includes Southern Livingston, so Walker, south of Walker as well. And then closer to Colliel and then near Frost Road, Livingston, Satsuma, you need to already be in your safe place. And then going to the other storm that we've been watching, starting to see at least a better um, couplet, a tighter rotation couplet. You see how the reds and the greens right here. This is just to the west of Weiss at the moment. And so this particular tornado warning is in place. Bear with us, you guys, having to uh, jump from warning to warning. This one's until 915. This also includes Baywood. So then you have the A meet and uh, I'll zoom out a little bit as well just to kind of give everyone an idea of what we're talking about at the moment. So here's that one area of concern. Uh, so you see right here, that's the EBR and Livingston Parish line at the moment. This is that one tornado warning that both of them are, are radar indicated, not confirmed, thankfully, at least not as of right now. We're waiting to see if there are any actual reports. And we're also looking at some of our radar data and going through all of that. Um, Brandon, are, are you seeing anything on your end so far? Yeah, I'm still tracking these velocity couplets. So let's go on links too, and I'll show you on the radar what we're currently tracking with both of these systems. We've both seen two tornado warnings with this squall line. Both are capable of producing tornadoes and damaging straight line winds. So let's zoom into the uh, cell near the uh, northeastern portion of EBR Parish and uh, west. East Feliciana Parish. And let me show you the velocity on this. It seemed to have tightened up just a little bit in the past couple scans. Let me put on the different color palette for you. And we're seeing, we're seeing right here, I'm going to short clip for you, where they, we have a little bit of a tightening in this couplet. Again, this is still radar indicated rotation with this cell, but if you are in or near uh, this tornado warning, you want to make sure you take cover now. Now is the time to get in your safe place. Don't go out looking for a tornado to see if it's confirmed or not. It's radar indicated rotation. You want to make sure you are in your safe place in the most interior room. A good idea if you have a helmet that would put on to protect your, your head and your neck from any debris, possibly, as well as in your, your hallway, in your closet. If you have a mattress, that would be good protection as well for you and your loved ones. So you want to make sure if you are in this uh, warning, you take cover immediately with this system. So let me zoom out and look at the other rotation we're seeing. This one is still showing a rather strong signature in those red colors, those, again, the winds away from the radar. So I'll go ahead and circle it for you. Just past north of the I-10 corridor, heading toward the I-12 corridor, just east of the I-10 and 12 split near Shenandoah. So we're still seeing this area, and that's going to be moving to the north and east at around 55 miles an hour. So uh, Denham Springs, you might want to take a close look at this right now as it will be heading your way. Even just the heavy rains over the area as well with some damage in straight line winds possible, heavy rains as well. So we're looking at a potential for a possible flash flooding threat as well, especially in some low-lying areas where 
We could be seeing some heavy rainfall rates around two to three inches per hour. Could cause some slight flash flooding in those low lying and poor drainage areas. I did want to mention we did get a report on our uh, National Weather Service chat that there was a power outage in Pearl River off of Pine Street Extension. So, power outages, I'll go ahead and show you what we're looking at in terms of power outages. We are seeing power outages across southern Louisiana. Due to those strong winds out ahead of that front, as we were, have been seeing, as well as those thunderstorm uh, warnings or those thunderstorm winds with the squalling as it moves through. So we're seeing about 700 here in East Baton Rouge Parish, 500 in East Feliciana, and even 1,000 in Wilkinson County. So power outages are going to be an issue with this system as it moves through the area. So if you do lose power, uh, if you have your phones, you want to tune in to us as well. We are again on Facebook as well as live streaming. And so you want to make sure you stay up to date with what we're, what the latest information is regarding these storms as we do have, again, two tornado warnings in place. So I'll go back over down to the, those Warren storm just near the I-10 corridor near Shenandoah and look at the velocity again to see what we're seeing in terms of uh, rotation within the cell. So with this line, like I said earlier, you're going to see multiple points in this squall line where we're going to have those rotating winds, whether they are aloft and more elevated in the atm atmosphere or if they're a little bit down close to the surface. At this point though, we only have radar indicated tornado warnings, nothing confirmed on the ground as of yet, but we are seeing some areas where we have, again, in those kinks in the line where we have those winds uh, rotating against each other, we're seeing uh, some ground rotation right here just east west of Gonzales and again that one couplet just north of Shenandoah and heading near toward Denham Springs. So I'll me, let me play this back for you to show you the trends of where these are, are exactly heading toward. So if we go forward a little bit, you can see that top one kind of moving toward the Shenandoah area and they did just trim the tornado warning a touch just north and east of the Mississippi River right now where it ends and moving over to the northeast. And these storms are rather moving fast, these in individual cells within that main line, moving around 55 to 45 to even 65 miles per hour. And so they're going to be fast moving along with those damaging winds are going to be possible as the squall line progresses to the east and these individual cells move to the northeast. So we're still seeing some of that rotation still heading right now into uh, St. Helena Parish and the south eastern portion of East Feliciana Parish, right around in this area. And going back over to re reflectivity, that's where we had the highest reflectivity values or the brightest of the reds uh, in the dark red color. So we're watching that area as well. So again, if you are in the path of, of these storms and these tornado warnings, you want to make sure you are in your safe place right now. Now is the time to do that to make sure you protect yourself from any possible debris that could be um, around from straight line winds or even possible tornado. But as of right now, these tornado warnings are for radar indicated rotations within this squall line. And even heading down south for a storm that's not warned yet or warned right now near Donaldsonville, which is just east west of there, we see we have that sort of comma shape with that uh, reflectivity on the radar appearance on that squall line, indicating where we could have some possible rotation within that cell where we have those red colors and uh, let me go back to the velocity for you where we have those red colors matching up against those green colors and we could be ind indicative of some straight line winds as well. Are you seeing anything else on your end, Ashley? Any new updates that you are looking at? Well, a couple of our our digital uh, journalists, they were actually saying, one of which lives in the Addis area in Iberville Parish, hearing of potential trees down. So we're looking into that right now. And keep in mind that one storm was tornado warned for Iberville Parish. But Iberville Parish has now been cleared from that warning. Um, this is a new warning from the National Weather Service. New severe thunderstorm warning, tornado possible for Ascension Assumption, EBR Parish, Iberville, Livingston, St. James, St. John, and Tangy until 945. And again, they're saying a tornado will be possible within this. And that goes back to what Brandon was saying, that we're watching that one area near Donaldsonville, more than likely seeing some straight line winds trying to develop because you see how it's more linear instead of a, a tight couplet. 
but we're still watching just again some kinks within this squall line and that's telling us that they within the leading edge of the squall line this will paint a better photo for it or a better image for you showing from about French settlement or just to the west of French settlement down to Gonzales down to Donaldsonville you see how it has a wavy feature so that tells us that there's likely at least some spin within this and so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a couple of brief spin up tornadoes within that it could be brief and it could maybe a very very short duration or it may not even officially touch the ground but just because we have so much spin and, and it's entering the a very favorable environment for some uh, tornadic development and straight line winds. So we still have that one tornado warning in place for portions of Livingston. Just near Walker, a heads up, you're likely dealing with a lot of heavy rain, loud claps of thunder, as well as some gusty winds. Now from French settlement to about Gonzales, that is one uh, area of concern that I am seeing right now, at least looking at the reflectivity, and I'll zoom in, and there you have of it. So we likely have some pretty strong winds, at least aloft, trying to reach the surface all the way from Gonzales, Burnside down to Donaldsonville and near Star, uh, near uh, Burnside again, Union, Heimel, and then closer to Sorrento. So here's I-10 just to get your bearings right. And then here's Airline. So likely some pretty uh, strong winds about to move into or at least that area down to Payne Courtville, Napoleonville as well, Convent, Lutcher. This is just west of Laplace. That is a severe thunderstorm warning. That's in place until 945. But the National Weather Service is saying a tornado will be possible with this. Additionally, we've been watching or earlier, if you recall, we were talking about how this one area of rotation was starting to leave the actual tornado warning more of the polygon it was veering a little more to uh, the left in that case and so it this is the one particular cell that we were watching it was moving near Shenandoah and so we have a little bit of rotation just near Denham Springs and then along I-12 so we'll see I mean it is included in that severe thunderstorm warning and again all of these severe thunderstorm warnings warnings that we have in place are also tagged for straight line winds as well as the threat for a spin-up tornado. So that is why even if you get an alert on your phone that, that says severe thunderstorm warning, you need to treat it as though it's a tornado warning as well. Because just like Brandon said, straight line winds can be as damaging, if not more, than a weak tornado. And in this case, we have that potential for both. Um, a new tornado warning has been issued for Livingston, St. Helena, and Tangipaho Parish until 945. So I'll show you guys where that is included. So it hasn't plotted just yet, but you see a lot. There you have it. So it is for that one particular storm we were just talking about, the one that we were seeing that couplet that it was just near Walker and that one particular area within the squall line was starting to lift a little more to the north outside of that polygon. So the National Weather Service did go ahead and issue that warning. This is just to the east of Denham Springs. So you have Florida Boulevard or US 190 there, right there. Here's Walker. This also includes Friendship. And then this is a very rural area, but still we have a lot of you that live out there. You might have friends. You might be driving there as well. So this, the warning itself does not include the heart of Livingston or even Holden, but it does include Magnolia. It also includes Montpelier. This one warning is going to continue until 945. And if you are just joining us, whether that's on NBC Local 33 or on Fox 44, typically we start with our newscast at 9 o'clock. But in this case, we're going to carry through with this extensive coverage because again we have several uh, tornado warnings in place we also have a severe thunderstorm warning in place this is all the way to I-55 and I am trying to comb through some of these storm reports at the moment um, Brandon on your end are you seeing anything new 
Yeah, let's go over to links one right now, and I'll show you what I am looking at on, on my end. So this is the cell that just got the uh, tornado warning extended and issued for Livingston Parish near uh, just east of Dennis Springs and northeast or northwest of Walker that we're seeing that rotation. This is the one that we were previously talking about just south of the 10 to 12 split moving northeast where we had that rotation uh, sort of signature increase over time of touch. So let me show you what I'm seeing on mine on terms of reports. So we did see some reports from a, a train spotter of thunderstorm wind gusts of about 65 miles per hour. Uh, this is, was about four miles east of Westminster and East Baton Rouge uh, Parish. And so we're seeing some damaging winds already being rec uh, recorded and spotted with the squall line, the squall line as it moves through. So damaging winds are a very real possibility and likely with this system as it moves through. As well, from the same spotter, uh, has mentioned observed rotation. It's not confirmed yet. It's a preliminary uh, report, but of some observed rotation recorded on a phone that lasted around 40 to 80 seconds, uh, the spotter mentioned, that did see the wind and rain direction changed uh, completely in just a matter of about 15 seconds and some possible tiny hail as well. So we're seeing some storm reports, and I believe that is for the, this storm right here that we are watching that has new tornado warning just north and east of Denham Springs. So if you are in this new warning within Limsing Parish, even up toward Montpelier and toward the I-55 corridor near Independence and Roseland, you want to make sure you take notice and take cover if you are within this warning as we are seeing a rather strong signature on the velocity product here showing the rotation where if there is a tornado, that's where it would be. But right now it's still a radar indicated rotation that we are watching right here. And it looks like the weather service expired the other tornado warning that was for or East Feliciana and St. Uh, Helena, just north of this current warning that we're looking at. So the one that they are going to let expire is going to be for the storm right over here where the, you see the reflectivity and all the storms have passed where that warning is at. So places in the southeastern portion of uh, East Feliciana and the tip of East Baton Rouge Parish. Those are in the clear now, just seeing some rain across this area. They're going to let that warning expire. However, we are still seeing the signature for a tornado possibly in the warning in Levinson Parish uh, moving northeast at around 65, 60 miles per hour. So this is a rather fast moving storm. I'll go ahead and time it out for you uh, where that rotation's roughly at about 60 miles an hour. So we're talking about Independence around 9.30, uh, Kentwood about 9.43. So these storms are moving fast and they're going to be heading to the northeast. So again, if you are in this warning for that tornado warning uh, just north of Walker, where we're seeing that rotation uh, really kind of increase on the velocity signature, you again, you want to make sure you do take cover if you are in that warning. We're still seeing that velocity signature right in this area. And do re uh, remember that the red color are the winds away from the radar and the green are the winds toward the radar. So we are seeing that clockwise rotation within this cell as it does move to the northeast. Zooming out a little bit and getting a bigger picture of what we're seeing with the overall line is we're seeing this line, even some broken and scattered showers and some storms out ahead of that main line. So here's that main line we're looking at, and out ahead is, are those broken uh, some showers moving over the lakes and up toward the north shore. And if you turn on the lightning product, we can see uh, some decent lightning with some of these cells, uh, more so down in Assumption Paris, seeing some lightning, even some near Gonzales and up near Walker as well. So lightning will also be a threat to you. You want to make sure you are indoors, don't want to be outside when we do have a uh, possibility for some damaging winds and lightning as well. Of course, the old saying goes, when thunder roars, you want to head indoors because lightning you don't want to mess around with sometimes. So zoom back out, I'll show you the overall picture. This is going to be moving through. It's beginning to clear out of East Baton Rouge Parish right about now, as well as Iberville. You're in the clear, there's some rain over your area, as, as well as Point Capi and the Feliciana Parishes. Beginning to clear out your area, just some uh, 
lingering rain behind there. So the main line is again going to be draped down across St. Helena Parish, Livingston, down through Ascension and into Assumption as well. So Ashley, have you seen any new updates on your end? I know you're looking out for some storm <laughs> reports as well. Right, that's what I've been doing, combing through all of it just to see a little more. I wanted to point out, remember we were talking about that severe thunderstorm warning, which does include Assumption Parish. This also includes Ascension Parish. And this is showing for the possibility for straight line winds. And looking at the velocity, you see how the reds and the greens are just riding parallel to each other. That at least tells us that there is that wind energy aloft in the atmosphere and some of these straight line winds and the strong wind gusts could reach the surface but not really seeing any rotation in the couplets coming uh, together and wrapping around each other. So that's from about Gonzales, Sorrento all the way down to Napoleonville within that squall line. But the National Weather Service is saying that there's still that potential for a tornado to develop within that. We'll go back um, to that one warning that includes Livingston Parish. Yes, this is a, a good bit of a um, the rural areas, but still we have mobile homes. We still have a lot of trees. So make sure if you are not in your safe place already, Magnolia, Montpelier, Georgeville, and then all the way up to I-55, that you get into that safe place uh, immediately. Because again, with little to no warning, even if you're just dealing with some rain, a, a tornado could quickly uh, start to develop and then uh, touch down for your area. This also includes uh, uh, independence as well. I'm um, trying to see what the National Weather Service is saying. They are just saying that essentially that the tornado watch will continue, but it is going to be trimmed as this one particular squall line continues to move. I also wanted to show you guys this. So this is one of our products. It shows where we have that rotation or at least some strong winds uh, producing some strong winds or at least some stronger shear. And so this is showing just to the north of Livingston, basically between Friendship. This is that one particular tornado warned area for Magnolia up to Montpelier. You see these greens? That's indicating where we have that weak rotation or at least where we've had it. Also showing the potential for at least some rotation embedded within this line of thunderstorms about to cross I-55. So with the strong winds that we've had already before the storms even arrived, this is going to make travel pretty difficult. So I would stay off the roads at least for the next couple of hours. If you must be on the road, then at least see if you can wait or at least move to uh, the shoulder or, or something of that nature just to make sure that you are safe. So what I was talking about when I was saying that a oh, line of strong winds essentially, it's almost a wall of strong winds potentially just to the west of I-55. I know it's still a little hard to see, but you see some greens, you see some reds, and that at least is telling us that some strong winds are potential or potentially within this line of thunderstorms. That one tornado warning that was for um, East Feliciana, you're clear for that. That will be allowed to expire in, in two minutes. So I don't want you to think that um, Baywood, you're still under that. No, you are in the clear. Um, Baton Rouge, the city of Baton Rouge, you are also in the clear. You're not under any warning. The severe weather threat has ended for Baton Rouge, Marydale, and that also includes Shenandoah. I know the tornado warning is still plotting for the Shenandoah area, but the area of concern that we're watching, at least as of right now, Livingston all the way down to Port Vincent, and additionally with that line stretching from French Settlement down to Sorrento, Gonzales, Payne Courtville, all the way down to Napoleonville as well. So that's why we're saying you do want to be in your safe place. If you get a severe thunderstorm warning alert on your phone, because these winds are no joke, we're already seeing reports just scattered around the area of power outages. I can actually uh, show you guys what we're dealing with in terms of power outages at the moment. This obviously is just an estimate, but it is showing uh, a lot of uh, power outages per county or even by parish. And you see just 
it's estimating at least a good portion portion of some of the parishes all the way from about EBR Parish stretching into southwest Louisiana. We've had these strong winds on top of the thunderstorm winds that have just been moving through. So make sure uh, your phones are charged. That, that goes for you guys in Far Eastern uh, Livingston Parish and then stretching to Tangipahoe Parish because, again, this line of thunderstorms now starting to move into the uh, into Tangibahoe in that area from Ponchatoula up to Hammond, Tickfall Independence. And again, here, here we have it uh, from French, uh, French Settlement through about Walker and then the Frost area. Very strong winds likely approaching your area. Um, I know it sounds like we're just bouncing around to, to different areas, but we have several alerts to tell you guys about. Brandon, um, are you seeing anything over there, at least with some of the updates from the National Weather Service, Twitter, any storm reports perhaps? Yeah, so the Weather Service has allowed the tornado warning in southern Ascension Parish, mm -hmm. south of the uh, I-12 corridor to expire. So I'll show you on links one where we're talking about right here. So we are seeing some broad area of rotation with that cell, some broad rotation, but it's not strong enough to warrant a tornado warning. Most likely it could be elevated, not reaching down into the surface. So that one has been allowed to expire, but the one that's still in effect, this is the actually the current and the only tornado warning in effect for our viewing area is going to be in northern Livingston Parish, just north of Livingston itself. Still seeing some rather good rotation signature on radar right here, and right about in the middle of where that warning is. So again, this is the only tornado warning, tornado warning in our area. So if you are in near Roseland, I-55 corridor, Independence, to take heed of this storm cell as it will be moving to the northeast toward your way in the next around 20 to 30 minutes. So if you are in that warning area, again, want to make sure you do take cover uh, right now with this system as it moves through. But zooming back out, we're in looking at reflectivity. We're seeing the main line right now is uh, draped across, again, Livingston down through Ascension and Assumption Parishes. So like Ashley was saying, East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, Iberville, you're all clear for the severe weather threat, just some lingering rain. I want to show you where we had that, the, uh, that uh, storm report of 65 mile per hour winds right in, just it was just four miles east of Westminster, and here is that report. Uh, you can see the, the icon right here, just north and west of the Shenandoah area. A train spotter has uh, measured 65 mile per hour wind gusts using one of their handheld uh, anemometers, uh, in the wind recording instrument. So we're seeing already some pretty, pretty strong wind gusts with this system as it moves through. And zooming back out, I'll show you the other storm report that we had over in Point Capete. This was for some mobile homes uh, were overturned on Morel Lane and some trees were down in the area as well. So these winds are no joke. Of course, they can uh, cause some damage too as the system comes through. So let me show you what we're talking about in terms of the tornado watch. It has been trimmed down for our area. So we have uh, the east and or west rather west and northwest portions of our area ex excluded from that watch now uh, they are coordinating with the SBC that's the storm prediction center to issue a, a new watch uh, most likely going to trim places around Lafayette and Opelousas and there will most likely be an issue in a new watch or a, a new watch uh, toward the Mississippi coast and near the Mobile area so as that line begins to progress to the east and we're still having the uh, corrective outlook for today. Still under that enhanced risk. Again, that will most likely again trimmed to the east as we have some of our areas outside that watch and the threat has ended for that severe weather. Places out to the west uh, in the, or east rather uh, where that squall line is at. Still have to watch out. Again, still, they're still going to be under that level three enhanced risk for damaging winds. Again, tornadoes possible and flash flooding too. We're still seeing the area under that slight risk for excessive rainfall as we could be seeing rainfall rates of around one to two inches per hour could, could possibly cause some localized flash flooding in those low-lying areas as well. So let's go back over to this tornado warning that we still have in place uh, heading uh, to the northern and northeastern side of Livingston Parish. Looking at the velocity product, we're seeing the signature Weakened a little bit. You see right about here we had a little bit of those bright uh, red colors 
right in this area. And as we go forward with time uh, to now, we're seeing not as bright of those red colors. So it's only a weakening of the winds within this cell. But regardless, that tornado warning is still there. And a tornado is possible to quickly spin up and drop within this part of the squall line. So zooming out overall, we're still seeing that squall line across the area and still seeing some of those kinks in that squall line where those winds could be have some chaotic motion and begin to organize and get that spin in the atmosphere for some rotation where we could possibly see the potential for a tornado. So we're still watching that. And in terms of storm reports, again, we had that 65 mile per hour wind gust reported. So with this line we're still seeing possibility of those damaging winds. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning in place for the squall line as it heads eastward toward places like Hammond, toward Lake Morapa and places like Laplace. So again we're gonna be watching this closely as we go through the next few couple hours before the threat ends overall for the entire region. So uh, go ahead and send it over to you Ashley to see if you have any new updates on your end. We keep saying this and we sound like a broken record, all these tornado warnings and such, but we are bringing you the latest. We've had numerous tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings as the squall line moves through and we just have a lot of wind energy. It's been windy to begin with and we've had wind gusts, tropical storm force wind gusts, even here in the capital area uh, throughout the day. The one area of concern within this tornado warning, the one that's for northern Livingston and then St. Helena. Helena, southeastern St. Helena parishes. The area right now near Georgeville and near Montpelier, and again, this is going to continue to move to the east northeast uh, within the next 20 minutes or so, and this is until 9:45. So we essentially have 25 more minutes with this warning. Again, this is radar indicated. It, we're not seeing any official reports of an actual tornado touching down, and so this is what we're going off of. The velocity where we can see where uh, the the winds are rotating, they're twisting, and then the ones that are potentially the ones that are capable of producing a tornado. I wanted to show you guys this. This is our future radar product. This is uh, basically taking current radar and then giving an estimate of what the radar will look like it, within the hour. And so within the hour, our severe weather threat's going to be over. The squall line's going to be to the east of that, and I am seeing the National Weather Service just updated that tornado warning. They are continuing that tornado warning for uh, Livingston and St. Helena, as well as Tangipahoe Parish. They're saying a storm capable of producing a tornado was located over not Montpelier. So that one area we were telling you about, that one particular area of concern. They did trim it, so now we have a better idea. Walker, you're already in the clear. Livingston, you still have the severe thunderstorm warning for your area, so damaging straight line winds are a possibility still. So here, you see that yellow polygon? That's for Livingston, Holden, Woodhaven, Albany, all the way to the I-55 corridor. That's for straight line winds, but potentially a tornado could spin up within this squall line. And so that is why that severe thunderstorm warning is going to continue. Now, the area of concern, again, I know it's a little difficult to see. You see this green color just to the east of Montpelier, and then you see the red as well. That is our area of concern or where we're seeing the greatest uh, rotation. And I'll even toggle on different products just to give you guys an idea. So this right here is Bradford Road. So if you hear me talking about some roads that you are familiar with uh, in Livingston and St. Helena parishes, as well as near, it's a little hard to see, but here's Highway 43. Here's Montpelier. And then along 16, Highway 441, here's Hillsdale and so this is just to the south of Hillsdale and again this is a um a rural area so again that's why a lot of uh communities are not populating on this but just to give you guys an idea here is I-55 and then A meets here, and then I-55 is here, right in perpendicular to that. But this is the one area of concern at the moment, and I see Brandon is toggling on some of the other pro just oh 
there you go. This is a better view of it, just changing the color palette a little bit. Again, this is Bradford Road. Here's Kedron, Hillsdale, and then Roseland's right here, right out of the tornado warning, which again is until 945. And Georgeville, Montpelier, likely dealing with at least some really heavy rain. Some spots have already picked up over three inches of rainfall just within this line moving through. So I will zoom out and show you guys what we are dealing with. Now, I do want to point out that you see Shenandoah, you see Gonzales, all the way to White Castle, Donaldsonville. Even though you are technically still under the severe thunderstorm warning, your severe weather threat has ended. So Baton Rouge, Shenandoah, again, Gonzales, you are right on the cusp of this squall line, likely hearing some really heavy rain, loud claps of thunder, some gusty winds as well. And so, Gonzales, I would still stay where you are. Uh, Sorrento, French Settlement, Killian, you're up next. Potentially some wind gust of 60 miles per hour. And again, here's I-55, Ponchatoula, Hammond, Tickfa, Independence. That squall line is going to race across I-55. So making for a pretty dangerous situation to drive. And again, um, we'll give Walker, even Western Livingston, an all clear. Holden, stay where you are because again, strong winds, straight line winds can be dangerous. Uh, Damaging, more damaging than a weak tornado. Um, also, the National Weather Service is also saying they are going to trim that high wind warning for areas including EBR Parish because the high wind warning was for that potential for wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. So that is going to be trimmed as well. Keep in mind that tornado watch has been trimmed. I will show you guys just so you can get your bearings and know where you are versus where we have that tornado watch in place still. Um, just like Brandon said, uh, the Lafayette um, DMA essentially or the National Weather Service, Lake Charles National Weather Service hasn't officially cleared them from this tornado watch and it's because it's, uh, yeah, it's till one o'clock, but the severe weather threat for them has ended. This um, Point Capi Parish, the Felicianas into uh, EBR Parish, West Baton Rouge, Iberville, you're cleared out of this tornado watch. So some good news there. And as this line continues to progress to the east, then we're also, the rest of the area will also be cleared from this tornado watch. So I'm going to get back to at least the radar just to give you guys um, an idea of what we're dealing with now in the area of concern where we have that tornado warning in place. Uh, Brandon, are you seeing anything? I'm looking at the velocity right now, and again, it's, it's a little hard to see, but here's Montpelier, and so just to the east of that, near closer to Hillsdale, that's where we have that area of concern right now, even though it's still a little difficult to see. Um, yeah, looking at Montpelier's area, where we're watching the greatest area of concern right now with that rotation couplet. Yeah, so this line, I mean, this has moved rather quickly. It entered our region around 8, 8.30, mm -hmm. and now it's about 9.30, and it's almost out of the region. So it's a fast-moving line. Like yep. we said, this, each individual storm is moving at around 45 to 65 miles per hour with the eastward motion at around 30 to 40 miles per hour. So I'll show you on the current radar right now what we're looking at. So we, again, only have that one warning. So if you are just joining us, we will have that one tornado warning in place for uh, basically centered over southeastern part of um, St. Helena Parish. So I'll show you where that rotation is currently at that we are watching for that tornado warning. It's going to be centered right around where we have those reds touching the, those green colors. That's where we're seeing that rotation uh, correlating with those higher reflectivity values or those brighter red and dark red colors. And that's going to be moving to the northeast at around uh, around 50 miles per hour. So it's going to be crossing the I-55 corridor rather quickly and moving 
and to, Tang and, uh, to Tangier Parish and moving to the northwest quite quickly. And zooming out, like we've been saying, some places have been cleared of that severe weather and just kind of just seeing basically just some lingering rain behind this main frontal squall line. Places like Baton Rouge, Baker, uh, Gonzales, and even to Point Capi Parish, just seeing some lingering rain behind that main squall line. So the severe weather threat is going to be ended for y'all over there. And even Gonzales, Donaldsonville, technically, like Ashley was saying, you're in that severe thunderstorm warning still currently, but that squall line has passed your area. And I'll expect that warning to be uh, probably trimmed in the near future as that squall line continues to progress east. And they are going to trim that uh, tornado watch. They already have for some of our parishes and even more so to our west when the SBC issues a new watch and that will include uh, more eastern portions of these coastal Mississippi counties and uh, heading toward Alabama as well as the threat begins to shift uh, to the east as you go into the overnight hours. So we're still seeing lots and plenty of lightning, especially with these cells just a little more south near Ascension and into uh, Assumption Parish, uh, beginning to clear out of those areas as well. We're still seeing some rather intense rainfall with some uh, rather high density of lightning with this system as it begins to move eastward. So we're still tracking this squall line across the region and again still have that one tornado warning still in place. Uh, so they just updated the tornado watch. So let me go ahead and show you that new update once it comes in to our system. So this is what we were, we were looking. They did clear our area um, in Baton Rouge Parish and Point Capi. That has been cleared and it will update for us eventually. And when it does, I'll go ahead and show you. But right, here we go. Here's the new update. So they did extend it out to the east and to Mississippi and into Alabama and even parts of the Florida Panhandle as well. But most of our viewing area is going to be clear of that severe threat as of now. But we again just have that squall line still across the region, mostly to the eastern parts of our viewing area, beginning to move to the east. So this threat will be ending rather soon and we can enjoy a quieter evening once this storms begin to pass our area. Just some nice uh, relaxing drizzle of a rain over the area. But we do have that one tornado warning still in effect for parts of St. Helena Parish moving closer now to the I-55 corridor uh, just south of Kentwood and north of Hammond. So let's Look at the velocity signature again. It is showing a little bit of a weaker signature right here. So most likely, if they don't extend this warning, they will most likely let this expire as it has weakened a bit. But regardless, you want to make sure you are in your safe place if you are in those areas right now as that warning is still in effect, but it's scheduled to expire at about 9.45. And in addition to uh, tornado warnings possible, damaging winds are going to be the top threat with the possibility of some tornadoes with the system. So damaging winds will be a main threat with the system as it begins to move. And we even have the high wind warning that we had uh, issued and active for most of the day today. That has been now allowed to be expired for East Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, Iberville, Point Capi, West Baton Rouge, and West Feliciana, and of course, um, Amy and Wilkinson County. So places where the squall line has passed, that high wind warning is going to be allowed to expire as that front, this, this all ahead of this cold front begins to move east and over the area. So we're beginning to clear out some, some of these severe threats uh, let's see, Ashley, do you have any more updates on your end on what we're watching besides, again, that one tornado warning still in effect? No, I, I'm just looking and, and watching some of the velocity data as this line starts to approach I-55 and the, the area of concern, we are talking about that rotation couplet just to the northeast of Montpelier and you see how the squall line is a little snaky. It has that wavy feature. So this is likely more of a strong wind threat at this point. That tornado warning will continue until 945 and 
that's again for portions of St. Helena Parish and into Tangipahoe Parish. Here's I-55 and once this crosses I-55 we start to lose at least uh, some of the signal so that would be more of New Orleans where you can pick that up but either way that area of concern that ro that rotation that we were watching on the velocity it's just not really as visible anymore in fact it's a little if anything out of the tornado warning polygon so it was initially this area and it is moving to the northeast roughly 45 to 50 miles per hour and so it is just racing again to the east northeast and already starting to cross I-55 and so since it does have that broad rotation and this is starting to cross into uh, again I-55 and points to the east we're going, what we're going to do, uh, again, it's 9.35. We're going to wrap things up, send it to break, and then if you are joining us on NBC Local 33, you can join us for the rest of the newscast on Fox 44. And then NBC Local 33, we will be on at 10 o'clock. So, again, we'll wrap things up and send it back to normal programming.